What a marvellous morning for a boot sale. A little bit of rain overnight, it's left it a bit soggy out there. But I'm going to try to hit two boot sales today. I haven't got my lucky leprechauns with me today. Uh, I think my grandkids found the boot sale and experience uh, quite boring after a while. I've done really quite well for stock lately and I think the upshot of that is it's going to make me... Well, this is the plan anyway. It's going to make me a little bit more choosy about what I'm picking up. When I've said that in previous videos, it doesn't always pan out like that at all but that's the plan anyway i'm going to be more choosy and see if i can get either items with higher margin better quality or just basically stuff that's more quirky some stuff that's more interesting let's get the old gray matter active quick stop for coffee and cash and let's get on the road <laughs> a bit grim this morning. 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 Do you know if that's complete? Um, I'm going to be honest, I haven't even checked. Yeah. No worries. How much is it? the thing we're playing with they seem to leave a lot of room in the box don't they yeah i've got loads playing with you how much have we got on that yeah no worries morning how much is that that was 20 mate 20. It's not even being used. Yeah, lots, lots of brown spanking. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Lord. Cheers. Right, you're doing all the, the spinning, the wind is off that. Oh, is it? Well, how much would you bid for it? It's yeah. just there when it's come out of the bag. Oh, no, that's the thing. Once you'll be there, I've done it. Well, we won't be there. How much would you... Would I know, you know how to use, mate. Uh, five quid for the pair. Okay. I'll leave it with you, but thanks. Yeah. Okay, okay. thank you. Would you do three? That's your three wood. That's your driver. Yeah. Would you do three quid? I'll do three quid, yeah. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah. This could be a case of anything for an early bath today, isn't it? <laughs> we'll see how we go. Yeah. Got to keep the faith. I think this is the worst it's going to be. It's not forecast rain, Jesus. is it? Jesus, no, it? no. Look at that's a blast in the past. I know, they all are. Jeez. We're just cleaning them all out yesterday. There's loads of good ones in there, actually. If you like your 80s stuff. Yeah, yeah. Loads of 80s. How much is that one? You can give us a quid. Can have it? Yeah. Just for nostalgia purposes, yeah. worth it, I think. You can have them all for a quid if you have it. <laughs> yeah, take them all, take them all. I see, yeah. As much as it pains me to say this, I think I'm going to fold at no, no cross early. There's really not a right lot of sellers on. A lot of stuff that was here on Wednesday as well that I picked through. So I'm going to head off to Greenhouse. Get there early for a change. Greenhouse is looking very quiet today as well. Wasn't predicted rain, and it has been. In fact, it is still spitting. Everybody in, spitting. How much is your fireside set? Fifteen. Fifteen. Ten. Oh, I was looking. I was looking at a fiver, if I'm honest. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Really <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cheers. No. How much is your HGC helmet? That one? Yeah. yeah. That one's 30 boss, ignore that price. Yeah. That's off my I bought a brand new helmet, black one, that's a lift up. Yeah. Perfect. I oh, used to have a headset in it, which is there. I've took it out, but you can put it back, you know what I mean? Please tell me that's an XL. 
Is it? It's a large, isn't it? It's a large. <laughs> it's a, are you an extra large? I am, yeah. Yeah, because this is, no, it's a medium, actually. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's a medium, but it fits yeah. me. Oh. Room cleaners. That's a room oh, right, cleaner. Okay. Well, that's a room cleaning case, and that is. Is it for like a shotgun? Oh, Ooh, bye, heck. I don't know. Does it? I don't know what it is. It doesn't really say, does it? I think it is, yeah. I don't know what that one is, but that's an old one. your pants both of them um for both yeah 50. Oh, uh, not been so good so far would you do 40 for both Are you getting more bike gear by any chance? Uh, not on my, I've got a jacket and a uh, jacket on my yeah. That's good, thank you sir. Fifteen on an all these fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. How many of these have you got? That's all I've got. Yeah. yeah. I'll do. Do you know what? I'll do you all lot. Ten, twenty, thirty quid. All three. Yeah, I can't. I, I won't, they, they just hang around forever. I'll take those off you, though, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Knock you a couple of quid off them. Any less? Yeah, a bit miles away. Uh, yeah. It's a long time missing, you see. All right. She's not gonna. What about your ear defenders? Um, five. I've got four quid on them. Four quid. The proper ones as well, you know. Yeah, he used to walk away for his missus. Yeah, yeah. Pelter. <laughs> Fifteen. Do you do 20 quid all in? Oh, God. Cheers. Cheers. Much Not obliged. Not a I picked Any, up a pair of these during the week. Anything for a deal there? Right, right, I'll get back to you soon. Yeah, I've seen yeah, a bit yeah. then. You, I mean, you've been in the game for a while. Yeah. You know the, the slim ones? Are, they, are these the newer version or the older no, version? No, they're old ones then. Yeah, yeah, I thought I so. These well, I've certainly done better here than I did at uh, yeah. Norcross, that's for sure. Here, what do you want then? I'd rather go to you, you're a biker, than anyone else. Yeah, I'm yeah. Whatever you think, yeah. Three. Cheers, man. Yeah. Honestly, I, I'd be better off at Norcross if the weather's fine. Oh, yeah, really I'm, I'm that area, aren't I? Of course, yeah. 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 Did this take batteries or something? No. You just put the um, M&M's on the front and yeah. the top. And it comes out on the side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, once more around, I think that's me done, mate. All right, yeah, good to see Have you. Have a good one. Cheers, bud. And uh, I sold the other one. That come with uh, a tape recorder. Yeah. To tape for the internet, for, for on, the, on the thingy, on yeah. the television. And uh, it come with this as well. But this used to be his old... Got you. On the back of that, is it just scarves or is it HDMI as well? Can you just see the back of that? Yeah, it's just scarves. Oh, no, does that make any sense? Yeah. What would you do for this and that? 25 quid. That's a bargain, that. That is a bargain. Yeah, I'll do 25 for that. And I'm even more regretting not having my bloody trolley now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think there's a little button, just, I've just stuck that. Oh, we can live with that. We can live with that. 
Yeah, and uh, well, I got 25 quid for the other ones, and that yeah. I've looked them up, you know, and you just you, you yeah, like things, yeah. oh, yeah, 80 bloody quid for what you know, oh, bloody hell. HDMI cables, I'm running short of them. Um, <coughs> these, yeah, the, a couple there, uh, belts is that one there as well. What would you do the cables for? Well, how much I don't even know how much they are. Did you do a pound a piece for them? Yeah, yeah, That's I will. It. I will Thank because you. he, he they'll come off that other one and yeah. he didn't even bother so he must have had exactly you know, yeah well it's, it's extra I, it's money we weren't expecting then wasn't it yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's right oh in fact that uh cattle lead you've got in your hand as well would you do a pound for that one as well yeah cattle lead yeah the one, in, uh, the one in your hand yeah, there the thing is I, it, some yeah. of them are expensive they're about yeah. 10 pound on, well that's the it? thing if, if i have to order it off ebay because of the yeah. size of the plug you're looking at a fiver you keep them nobody wants them there's exactly, leads, yeah. and leads, yeah. and leads and leads and they don't fit and they have to yeah, <laughs> yeah. i've like got a, honestly i've got there. a box of cables out yeah. over like that big and, <laughs> and it's never the right bloody one in it <laughs> you spend half your time trying to find yeah them. that's it yeah yeah oh you oh. can find the right voltage and it's the wrong bloody plug yeah, on it know, yeah <laughs> that's great i like to drive us round the twist that's it yeah yeah thank you all the best love slightly better at green horse apart from spending 30 quid there or thereabouts for the last trader and then walking away from half the stuff i just bought off her because i was gassing too much <laughs> my spirits have picked up now a little bit can you tell i'm going to attempt a third boot sale it's only 20 past eight now and rumor has it the parkour car boot sale in chorley is a lot better than it used to be i haven't been for ages because it it never was really very good but because i've not done so well at Norcross, a bit better at Green Osh, I'd be totally amiss not to get, at least give it a try. So that's where we're heading. The sun has finally made an appearance. Quite a queue here. Yeah? Timing. Just as they turn the tap on. Morning, mate. Oh, that's right. Is that a dry suit? Yep. Dry suit used to be mine, I used to be a windsurfer. Alright. Dry store probably for the last hmm. 10 years or so. Yeah. It works fine, all the seals. All the seals appear to be alright. There's no rip, certainly. Yeah. So it's cheap as chips at 15. Let's see if I can put a few things together. If I don't get blown away in the process. Yeah. <laughs> Down there, mate, if you're looking at the names. Oh, yeah, no, they're nope. not for me, those ones. Nope, yeah, I'm getting fussy now. <laughs> How are you doing for change? Um, I'm doing all right, just up to now. Yeah, all right. Cheers, buddy. Them, all labeled up, brand new. No, no, thank you anyway. My legs would look fabulous in them. You don't have another start anywhere, do you? Um, no, they uh, who was it? I've seen them. Amazon are doing a deal on them at the minute, 60 quid. 60 quid? Yeah. What, same large wheel as this? No, no, this is like 130, I think, 140. So, but they'll, they'll do like an entry level one for 60 quid. So, then again, saying that, I think Tesco are doing them at the minute as well for about that. Yeah, yeah. No worries, bud. How much are your microphones? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Great. Microphones. Uh, I'm not too sure. To be honest, they're brand new. I've never used them. I bought it all. Right. I didn't use it all. I bought all this system and that. And that. I bought that, put it up, and never used them. <laughs> the lads just took the mixer and that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not too sure. Was these for DJ? Were you DJ? Yeah? No, I was just doing karaoke at home. Oh, right, That's okay. all it was. Just yeah, set it yeah. all up and do karaoke at home. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 20 quid. Can we get anywhere near a tenner? No. no. Not even a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Yeah? Yeah. I'm tempted by those as well, it's just a bloody bulky. It is <laughs> yeah. absolutely brilliant. Yeah. One there, uh, 11, uh, 10, uh, 1050 watt, that. <laughs> so it's slowed. I bought the new one, that's why I'm selling it. I bought the 906. Yeah. That's the Z55, that one. Z50. Let's see if I can do it. How much have you got on that? Oh, 
30? A repeat custom? Yeah, go on. Man. <laughs> Why you've already bought. <laughs> I'm glad I brought the bloody trolley, that's for sure. <laughs> you will do now, it's only that's all the way. Oh, where you in? Where you in first? Thank you very much, sir. Brilliant, thank you. Yeah? Cheers, Cheers mate. mate. Nice Appreciate one. it. Nice one. Oh my god! <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> I'm anticipating my arms are going to be about three inches longer by the time I get around here. Give me some more room now. <laughs> I'll see, yeah, yeah. Was he hogging it all, was yeah. he? <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day, cheers. Which is your longboard? Yeah, we're after 15. 15? It's not really been used to be honest. It's yeah, yeah. Just been sat in garage. Tripping over it. <laughs> yeah, I keep moving the bloody thing. <laughs> <laughs> and what about that one? Uh, Fiver. 20 quid for those two, innit? Yeah. 20 quid all day, that. I need a bigger trolley. Yeah, I was going to say, you need two trolleys. <laughs> another one on the trailer at back. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, I'm alright taking this out, having a look? Yeah. Thank you. Well, your last price is £8.71. Please come on then. £8. £8. <laughs> £8, I'd say. How much is it? Uh, Seven quid. It's not been used. Uh, would you do five? What do you think five for this? I said seven. Yeah. yeah Alright, you can put it on the side. Smash and thank you. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> oh, size nine. Lovely jubbly. How much are they? Uh, they've not been more enough for Label's still on that one. Yeah. I'm open to offers though. <laughs> <laughs> There's music to my ears, guys. <laughs> You've got to be, be reasonable. <laughs> Did you do five for those? Five, eh? Yeah. No. No, no, fair yeah. enough. You got to ask, didn't you? You got to ask. Right. <laughs> That's the boot sale game. It is the game. <laughs> uh, let's yeah. see if I can put a few oh. things together, see if I can sweet talk you. Okay, I like the sounds of that. <laughs> I like the sounds of that. Try them on if you want. Not the pants, obviously. Yeah, well, you can right. try the pants off. There you if go. You don't There's the side, children yeah. present, ladies. <laughs> Steady yourselves. <laughs> put all the barber ladies there. Pants. <laughs> <laughs> the bar at end as well, love. Oh, there's more gloves there, love, as well. Yeah. Oh. Right. Here we go. Come oh, on. <laughs> I'm warming up now, yeah. Come on. I, I, Come I was, on, but something. I, <laughs> I was on. flagging a bit. This is my third boot sale today. I, I was, I was, I'm not asked for any sympathy or anything, but... Well, because you won't get morning, love. Right, I'm looking for... Any no, it's not so much. I'm not really that fussed. As long as it's adult, yeah. not really that fast. But they're all adults. So. Yeah. The two jackets and the Diora boots and... Not so much. And Which those, two jackets are you talking? This one, that one. Yeah. The Diora boots and those two pairs of gloves. What's your best? Come on, hit me with it. <laughs> you hit me first and I'll, uh, I'll either laugh and chortle. Well, you probably laugh, to be fair. Go on. Um, 60 quid. Good man, go on. There you go. It wasn't so hard, was it? No. <laughs> Have you got a bag for life or anything? Oh, well, a, a bag by any chance? Yeah, like a big bag. Yeah, you can have that. I didn't one. anticipate picking up lots and lots of big well, stuff. You're doing all right, I am, yeah. Oh, you're a good one. I'm saying this, I haven't checked how much money I've got left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. I know, his, yeah. He's got my eyes beaded at him for 60 <laughs> quid, and then he. You're not going to believe this. What card? 
Yeah, oh, thank you, because I've got exactly 60 quid left. Oh. <laughs> I'd rather pay card though, if I'm honest. Yeah, I'll <laughs> or a bank transfer, whichever you want. Do you want to do a bank transfer? I'll prefer card. If you, don't, if, yeah, if you don't mind, that'd be great. I can get cash back on it then, you see. And me being a minge bag. <laughs> Are you from Leicester? No. Where are you from? I'm from Chorley. Yeah. No, well, I was I was born in I was born in Rochdale, brought up in London, and then I joined the army when I was 16, so uh, yeah. my accent's from all over the world. Well, all over England. Oh, He's from Leicester and I just be a little <laughs> Everybody gets it wrong. Everybody. Right, we're ready. There you go. See, 60. Lovely. Ready for your card, Paul. It's very prepared, this, you know, taking pay card payments. You've got to be prepared Absolutely, to take yeah. people's money off. Yeah, too oh, right. I like I like that mentality. I'll send you a receipt. What's your, what's your phone number? Oh. It'll, it'll text you. All right, 07. You just wanted my number, didn't you? Go on, admit I it. I did. <laughs> you're on, you're on to me. You know, it was so obvious. I'll be getting... WhatsApp messages at three o'clock in the morning. I know they're from. Is that come through to you? Yeah, sorted. I would have thought so, yeah. Yeah, that's the fella. Thank you very much indeed, ladies. Awesome, take care. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. How much are they? Eight quid. Eight quid. Would you do five of them? No worries. I'll do seven. They are in good nick, really. Yeah. Yeah, go on. I'll do seven. There we go, lovely. What we have seven, seven quid for those boots, yeah. Thank lovely. you very much. Thanks Cheers. Well, today it turned itself around really nicely. And yet another example of ne you should never ever prejudge a boot sale. I've just absolutely smashed it at Park Hall. Granted, I was in the first wave of people going in, which undoubtedly helped. But after a very poor start at the first bullet boot sale of the day, I've ended up spending over 300 quid. Uh, let's get everything home then and, and show you what I got. Well, a very peculiar day all round today. It's actually the opposite of, thought, of how I thought it was going to go. I did really, really well at a boot sale that's normally very quiet. I did really poorly at a boot sale that's normally really busy. The day started out raining and then the sun came out and it's just been a day of contradictions. I genuinely thought it'd go absolutely Pete Tong, uh, but I managed to spend £369 and that's going to give me a total gross listing value of £1,305. I'm sure you're very keen to know what I picked up, so let's get straight into it. As you guys know, I do enjoy, I use that word very very loosely sharing with you my cock-ups as well and there has been one example of complete muppetry today i shall point that out in a sec but starting with a big item this in this exceptional condition at atlantic rift longboard bought this and another skateboard for 20 pound so i'm going to put a cost price of 10 pound on that and that'll have a listing value of 50 pound i might that i might tweak that up a bit and yes, as you can possibly imagine, these are a pain in the backside to pack. From a subscriber, if I first saw buying at Norcross and then saw him on his own stand later on in the day at Park Hall, I bought this Bose sound, sound dock. I would have left it alone, actually. In fact, I don't think I filmed that bit. I think the guy asked me not to film him, so fair enough. Uh, but initially, I saw this iPod which is what I was interested in. But he was quite adamant that he didn't want to split it. And fair enough, to be to be honest. I paid £20 for both of them. And that was a great deal. Uh, the, the Bose Sound Dock will go for about £25. It's the old 30-pin iPod connector. So a lot less desirable. A couple of good selling points, though. It has got uh, a Lightning to 30-pin adapter that I can bundle with it, and also it's remote. It's quite r rare to find the remote with it. On top of that, obviously, it's got its power lead, but it's got a nice branded case as well. So I'll get my money back on the purchase on that. I'll probably st uh, stick it on for 30 actually, 
uh, because of those extra selling points. But the iPod, I was interested, obviously this is really old tech. This is, I believe, a fifth gen or something like that. But this is the A1136. If you're ever struggling finding out which model an Apple product is, usually in extremely tiny writing, you're not going to be able to make that out on camera. There's a model number that starts with an A and usually say four or five digits after that. If you type in Apple and then that code, it should bring up exactly what model it is. This is a 30 gig iPod and I'm going to put a listing value of £50 on it. Plenty of evidence at that kind of, that, that kind of level. I've sold a couple in the past of this and very, very similar and very similar age iPods. The Tonor TW820 wireless microphones. This is actually really quite good quality kit. And looking inside when I was with the guy, it, he said it's unused and it looks in absolutely pristine condition. Paid up a little bit for this at £30 and I'm probably being disingenuous on the listing value uh, which is £65. I look at that valuation again as I always do when I come to list it. Humax Digibox, you've seen me pick these up before. I won't pick up the ones that are SCART only. This is got the HDMI so if you ever see a HDMI Freeview box, uh, it's a few Freeview recorder. They come with various sizes, hard drives. This will be uh, 500 gig. I always look at the back and make sure they've got a HDMI port because the ones that are SCART only there's little to no value in them comes with this remote which is a bonus because even the aftermarket ones are quite expensive really paid five pound for that and it'll have a listing value of 60 pound and i've just realized in my haste to get my list done and get some lunch and a nap because i'm hungry and tired i forgot of uh, i forgot to add this to my list it's an iomega external floppy disk drive still valuing these i paid five pound for that and it'll have a listing value of 40 pound it's in absolutely minty condition as well always on the lookout for dry suits i mean you've seen me pick up wetsuits in the past and do pretty well out of them this is nothing really to write home about this is a, a solar e solar sola is the brand evolution dry suit it hasn't got the boots it looks in decent condition though if ever you see a dry suit always check comps always because this is down the very low end of the value value of them i paid 25 pound for that and i got a little bit carried away I'd, I'd picked it up without checking comps which i'd never advise anybody to do and i slapped myself on the wrist about it i'm still winning though to be fair because a very very realistic listing value of that is going to be 50 pound The reason I say watch out for them because some of the pro suits can go go for over a thousand pounds second hand. So always be checking out dry suits. Obviously wetsuits are good news as well if you're paying very little for them. Um, generally speaking, I'm flipping wetsuits for between 20 to 30 pound. So if you're only paying so like up to five or four and then the good news. I bought this Bose Solo TV sound system and the Humax together. And like a complete mop here, I didn't get it on film. I paid the lady and they just walked away and left her with it. I must have got about 20 meters away and then went back with rosy cheeks to say that I'd um, forgotten to pick the stuff up. <laughs> the cost price on this on its own was £25. Some of the newer models of the, the Bose soundbars go for well over £100 second hand. Uh, this one will have a listing value of £60. Golf club covers are worthwhile looking out for, you know, because some of the uh, higher branded ones go for really great money. But even, I mean, it's like a bread and butter kind of valuation. I think I paid... I want to say a fiver for these. As always, if I get the prices wrong, I'll put a correction on screen because obviously at this stage, I haven't edited the first bit of the video to double check my homework. It sort of breaks my £10 rule as well. If you remember, at the start of the year, I put a, a, a rule on myself that I'm not going to list anything under £10. But because these are so easy to pick, pack, ship, they're not going to break. They just are what they are. I'm going to put a listing value of £9 each on them. If you can get a complete set, then you're talking decent money. I bought these two leather jackets, these two pair of leather gloves, and this pair of Dior boots off a couple of lovely ladies at the parkour boot sale. I had such a great banter with them. Speaking to people like that is just a, a pure joy. It just 
makes me smile and it makes the trip that bit more uh, worthwhile doing. So I paid £60 for all those items. And the breakdown is for the leather jackets, so I'm going to put a listing value of £45 each on them. The leather gloves are branded. Look at a Buffalo and Risha. The Buffalo gloves will be getting listed for £20 and the Risha gloves for £15. Might tweak that up a little bit actually because they're pretty funky looking. And the Diora boots are going to have a listing value of 30 quid. It's all surface gunk on that as well. I think it's just like garage guns really. Not going to take very much to clean up and make look pretty for the pictures. And on my second trip round, I went back to see them. I did actually film that bit. Uh, some a really quite good condition if you ignore the this the surface. I think these were ex-military, you know, these boots rather than please, because it looks like the tote has been balled on it. These are Altberg Defender. Picked up countless pairs of Altberg boots in the past. Strangely, they're most of them uh, are brown. I believe for current issue in the army especially all the boots are brown now rather than black these are going to need a bit of a spruce up for the pictures but nothing major uh, like i say paid eight pound and they're gonna have a listing value of 50 pound by a very very long way the heaviest pickup of the day this is a logitech z5500 surround sound system that base unit it weighs bloody ton <laughs> i want to say a page 30 quid for this and uh, the only thing it's missing is its remote which i've already ordered online i think it was about six pound 20 or something like that for an aftermarket remote it was well worthwhile doing as well because having a remote does affect the value in this case goodness only knows how much this would have cost new uh, but it's got a resale value and the listing value i'm going to put on it is 200 pound there are some examples of this system going for more than that as well standard pickup for me nice box hog boots Always be checking these. I mean, I don't mind a bit of gunge. I don't mind putting a bit of effort into cleaning stuff up if, the, if there's margin there to warrant me spending the time on it. But always make sure that these are in good nick because they're quite thin and very, very light because of the nature of them. So they can damage quite easily. The last pair that I got were quite worn on the sole. They still sold and I still made money on them, but nowhere near the potential of a good condition pair. Anyway, I paid £7 for these and they'll have a listing value of £30. New brand by me. These are Royal Scott Glencoe boots. They are boots rather than wellies, although you would call those wellies, I would have thought. Most people will call those wellies, but they are listed as boots. Fabulous condition. You can really, really feel the quality of these boots. Pay £25 for these, and they're going to have a listing value of 70 quid. The other skateboard I mentioned is this Tony Hawk Signature Series board. Uh, because I bought it with the other one, I put a, a cost price on this is a cost price on this of ten pound because I paid twenty pound for both of them. In hindsight, I probably would have left this because, like I say, they are a pain in the backside to package. And in relation to the listing value. It's not really that worth the effort. Listing value on that board, nonetheless, is going to be £25. From top man Rakesh, bought off him countless times before. This brand spanking new pair of parade shoes, British Army issue. I paid £15 for these, which is paying up a little bit. But as you've heard me say before, I always love supporting people who uh, support the channel. I, th I think it's only fair, really. Listing value on those, £35. <laughs> Eight pound paid for this solid brass fireside companion set. Four piece and it stand. It's, it clearly is vintage. Price on this kind of stuff is tanked a bit just recently. Uh, listing value on that's going to be thirty pound. Historically, for a set like that, I've probably got forty to forty-five at a push. Two more pairs of Peltor ear defenders. Peltor uh, suppliers to the army. I think they've even got a NATO stock number on these somewhere. I picked up a pair in the week. I think I gave um, I, I think I gave Rakesh a fiver for both of these, and they're going to have a listing value of fourteen pound each. This was the total muppetry I mentioned. I got carried away. It, it does look brand new. But I saw that brand label, HJC, and this isn't a HJC helmet. It's just 
the the visor protector that's been put over the top that's off an off a HJC helmet. If it was a HJC helmet, the £25 I paid for this helmet would have been an absolute steal, but it's not. It's MT Helmets. One of the cheaper, more cheerful brands. I mean, all helmets have to conform to British safety standards. So when I say cheap and cheerful, they're all very, they're all safe. They have to be, they legally have to be safe and meet British standards to be sold in this country. This is a flip front helmet as well, which is a great selling point. MT Helmets Atom. Atom is the model. Fabulous condition, size medium. It's uh, even got a, a cover with it as well. Not a complete loss though. There are some comps around about the 70 pound mark for MT helmets, but to move it on quite quickly, I'm gonna put a listing value of 60 pound on it. From Rakesh again, uh, three pound pay for these Sparda motorcycle gloves. Leather, armoured, these are the Sparda Enforcer. Sparda, great brand of motorcycle gear to watch out for. Even secondhand, these gloves will be getting listed for £30. RK jeans, motorcycle jeans. These jeans have got knee armour in and a Kevlar line into the butt area as well. Not so many comps for these, but I know they're very, very desirable. Obviously, those, these are the kind of circles that I move in, so I'm familiar with products like this. I paid £40 for these and a leather, pair of leather pants I'm going to come on to in a minute. The jeans themselves are going to put a listing value of £40 on. But the thing that caught my eye was the leather pants because these leather pants are by Lewis. Lewis is a, an extremely good quality, extremely well-recognized brand. They still make motorcycle gear, but if you can get a vintage Lewis jacket, you would not believe the, the price on some of the comps. In fact, as you watch this video, just grab your phone, do a quick search on eBay for vintage Lewis leather motorcycle jacket, and just check the comps. It's a bolo. With garments such as this though, it's not really that much the case, but compared to other brands for this type of stuff, it's still fetching really good value. The listing value on these is gonna be 60 pound. From the chap I bought the helmet off, these are, are three pairs of generic motorcycle gloves. They're all brand new. It's two leather and one fabric. I think I paid a five pound each for these. And because they're new, I'm gonna put a listing value of 20 pound each on them. And last today, it was a bit of a tongue in cheek pickup actually. I paid a pound for this now, This now that's what I call Music 11. It is missing the, the sleeve from cassette two. But even as it is, I'm probably looking about eight or nine pound listing value for that. I picked it up because, it, in fact, I don't know why I picked it up, truth be told, I should have left it. It just made me smile, so I just thought, what the heck? Now, the more astute of you will have noticed that by the radiator, there was a bull worker that I picked up early on at Norcross. I completely forgot to mention it in the roundup. I paid a fiver for it, and this is going to have a listing value of 40 pound. Back to the video. Most uncharacteristically, I'm getting a bit of a backlog of stuff to list now, which isn't like me at all. I'm a big believer of just listing stuff as soon as possible. My take on it is if people can't see it, they can't buy it. So it doesn't really matter what time of year this item that you're trying to sell is synonymous with. I can certainly feel a listing binge coming on this coming week anyway, because next weekend I'll be doing some different kind of grafting at a motorcycle rally. If you've got any value out of this video or any kind of entertainment, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. But the fact that you've watched this video this long is the biggest help of all, so thank you sincerely. Until next time, you lovely people, I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you soon.